What's up guys, it's Asian Power. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at my list for the top five most underrated weapons in Warzone. All right guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are brand new, want more Call of Duty content. Also, don't forget to comment down below what you think about this list and what you would change, just your overall thoughts on it as well. All right, at number five, is the FAL. This has always been a fun gun to use in my opinion. The FAL had its shine when everyone was using it as an SMG. This came about when Infinity Ward buffed the FAL to ma and made it a melt machine. If you had a fast trigger finger, you could drop somebody in Warzone with full plates in just a few hits. Headshots with the FAL just made this thing unfair. Soon after the devs fixed this and so that it wasn't as dominant as before, and people went back to their shotguns and mp5s but this weapon is still very strong i feel that it's still a very viable weapon in warzone but mainly used as a true ar where it shines now is to the mid and long range fights people want to stray away from this gun because of its semi-auto nature which is fair but if you're accurate and take your time when taking your shots you will be able to drop enemies super fast especially if they don't know what's coming you can take them out in three to four hits and then obviously the close range potential is still there as well but again this is uh, a class that i would use mainly just as a main ar to uh, take out my enemies to that mid-range to long range uh, fights all right this is my fal class so obviously we're going to run the monolithic suppressor to keep us off the radar the xrk marksman this is more for the range tack laser to increase our aim down sight speed Ranger foregrip to uh, control to pretty much bring the sight back down center a little bit faster. And then, of course, the VLK optic. Number four, the Fennec, also known as the Vector. The Fennec, as we all know, had the potential to be one of the best SMGs in the game, especially in Warzone because of its insane time to kill. The Fennec has a fire rate of 1,111 rounds per minute, which is nuts. But the reason no one runs it is because of its small magazine capacity compared to its fast fire rate. You just run out of bullets super fast and it's harder to wipe an entire squad with one mag. Also, its mobility and handling is just average to say the least. Definitely, you can't keep up with the MP5. But if you keep that in mind while using this weapon, you still will be able to down people super fast. The Fenix ADS is also a hindrance, but if you kit it the right way, the ADS is decently competitive. Let's go ahead and take a look at the class setup. All right, so here's a class setup I have here is the ZL, ZLR 18 inch Deadfall. This one is good because it has a integrated sound suppression. So you're gonna be staying off the radar. People aren't gonna hear the shots as well. The Commando foregrip, the 40 round drum mag, stipple grip tape, and sleight of hand. The reload time is actually really slow on this gun, so sleight of hand is going to be very helpful, especially with this big 40 round mag. If you're pre-aiming people and getting ready for them to come into your line of sight, you're going to be able to down them so fast. And really this setup will just really help you uh, in those uh, close range battles and drop kids so fast. Next up is the PKM at number 3. When Modern Warfare dropped and later on Warzone, it was the general consensus that the PKM was the best LMG in the game, and it was super competitive when it came to the best overall weapon. Its damage was great, it has a huge magazine size, and its recoil is very minimal. Though I feel people don't really like using an LMG in Warzone because it is slow in both reload time and your movement. But people's ideas of LMGs changed when the Bruin came into the picture, and this weapon shoved the PKM to the side. Now that the Bruin is nerfed and not run as often, I truly think people need to take another look at the PKM and remember how dominant it was and still can be. Because if you get tired of using the same old guns, definitely use the PKM and you will be just as competitive as those people who are running M4s, Growls, and Kilos. And this is my setup for the PKM. We have the monolithic suppressor always, the 25.9 heavy barrel, uh, the reason why I actually don't use the 26.9 is because it actually slows you down a lot more. Um, and then just the difference between the 26 and the 25 as far as range isn't that uh, big. But the negative effect of the 26 is. So that's why I just use the 25 inch because the benefits outweigh the negatives when it comes to the other barrel. And then tack laser obviously to increase our ADS 
The snatch grip is the best when it comes to helping you stay on target at range. And then right now I have the PBX hollow sight. Honestly, you can switch this out to whatever sight you want, whether that be the VLK or the Corp hollow. It really just depends on what you want to do. And if you don't even want to use a sight, you can drop this and put on a rear grip or even sleight of hand. You don't need ammunition because it starts out with 100 rounds in the magazine to begin with. That's plenty, so you don't need anything really more than that. All right, guys, number two, the Striker. The Striker is an amazing hybrid SMG. It's good up close and is competitive in the medium range. The recoil is a little bouncy, but once you kit this baby out for range, it becomes a laser, and it is super dependable, especially when paired with a sniper because of its ability to handle both mid-range and close-range engagements. Definitely give this one a shot. It's kind of middle-of-the-pack weapon, but I feel like it's a little bit better of an option as far as coupling it with a sniper where you want it to be able to handle mid-range fights as well as close range. I feel like it just uh, does a little bit better than, you know, say the Uzi or the, the PP Bison. Obviously, the best SMG to run with a sniper is, of course, the MP7. But this list, obviously, is going over the underrated weapons. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Striker 45 um, class setup. Okay, this is my class up here. Obviously, the monolithic suppressor, the 400 millimeter stainless steel barrel, tack laser, Merc foregrip. Mainly, I use this one for increased hip fire, uh, just in case I need to do that. And then the 45 round mag. I don't run a sight on this. The sight isn't super clean, but it's not super ugly either. Um, so definitely check, try this out, and let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below about the striker would you have rather switch it out for a different smg on this list let me know down in the comment section all right guys this is my number one most underrated weapon of all warzone and modern warfare and that is the an94 this gun is so much fun to use and i hope after i explain why you will try it out and fall in love with it as well first off the fire rate if you didn't know the first few bullets that the an shoots actually shoots faster than the rest of the magazine. This is amazing when it comes to close range fights because you actually have an insane time to kill if you are hitting all your shots, especially in the upper torso. This fast fire rate at the beginning of your shot, it actually gives you a type of burst fire rate if you feather your trigger. So instead of toggling over to the burst mode on your controller or keyboard, you can just tap your trigger or mouse and it will burst for you, making this gun super competitive in the long range engagements. Of course, with this fast fire rate, the first few shots are going to give you the most recoil, but mostly just vertical, which is the easiest to control. After those shots, the rest of the recoil is actually very easy to control, making this gun an absolute laser. After those initial bullets, this gun practically has no recoil. I'm not even joking, there's hardly any recoil. It's very, very similar to the Kilo after those first bullets. People stray away from this weapon because of the high recoil at the beginning of shooting, but once you learn how to properly use this gun, you will see how much it can truly laser your enemies. Give it a shot and definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comment section because I absolutely love this weapon. I definitely feel it is the most underrated weapon of all time when it comes to Warzone. One last thing before I send you off to Verdansk. Recently, I've been seeing a lot of people recommend the SA87 LMG. I would love to put that on my list, but I haven't played with it enough to really see how good it really is in Warzone. I know that people are saying its recoil is very kind of high. The LMG smacks. But you can count it as a bonus if you want to give it a shot. Again, I haven't put it to the test in my own experience or playtime. But I know that a lot of people are actually suggesting the SA-87 is one of the most underrated weapons. So definitely, if you want to give that a shot, definitely do that. All right, guys, that is actually going to do it for today's list. That is my top five for most underrated weapons in Warzone. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the list. Was there anything that you would have changed? Or would have any weapons that you would have taken off or put on? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thanks again so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.